Hey guys, it's Kaden, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do singles, doubles, and triples on the rifle. They're all basically the same concept, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you catch each one. Um, it's a little windy over at my house, so hopefully this turns out pretty good. We'll see. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to do the left and right single, because the single is the basis for every other toss that you're going to do. To start, you're going to put your left hand on the belly, holding the strap with your little taco hand. Your taco hand, um, as if you were doing a left-handed drop spin with your right hand on the butt. We always want to start very strong. You should be in second position, shoulders pulled back, a head up, and you should just be very proud of what you do. The general motion of the rifle during this toss is that you are going to be pushing down with your right hand and your left hand is going to rotate. When you get to here with your angle, until your wrist can't move anymore, you are going to let go and you will catch it in your opposite hand. That's not the proper catch, I'm just showing you the general motion. So go ahead and practice this little swing for a little bit. You should be pushing straight down and slapping your thigh. I want um, hand marks by the end of this video. And your left hand should be coming up to about your shoulder. I'm going to go ahead and show you what a complete single toss looks like. And again, this time I will face this way, like so. Your left hand should be about here. Um, it's a very short and hopefully whippy toss. Um, if you don't understand what the word whippy means, it's basically an adjective used to describe how the rifle rotates. The rifle will either be whippy, which means it travels very fast and very short, or lofty, which means it's going to go really slow and very high. With the rifle single, you want it to be whippy. Not overly whippy because you have a tempo to keep, but you don't want it to be whip lofty because it's not going to make it all the way around in time. So, a good way that I like to practice tosses when I first start is by first practicing the motion without holding the piece of equipment. Pushing with my right and releasing with my left. If you can see there, I released too high that time, that first time. So really get into it because you're going to practice the way you perform. The next step, once you feel comfortable with that, and if you aren't, go ahead and pause the video. Um, the next step is practicing the motion that I showed you at the beginning. And then releasing and letting it drop. Now, this is a very scary thing to do. Um, and it can also be kind of dangerous, so make sure that if you are going to do this step, that you're in a nice grassy backyard like I am, or maybe some carpet and there's nothing breakable nearby. Go ahead and do that a couple of times. And pause the video and come back when you're ready. Alright, so now that you've done the motion a couple of times, um, I'm going to show you how to catch. Which basically you're going to catch as if you were going to go into right-handed drop spins. And this is a really cool um, thing because it allows the rifle to go back and forth between the hands during motions. It's all very fluid, um, which is a really cool um, part of the rifle that is, makes it one of my favorite things to spin. Um, so the complete rifle, you start like you're doing a left-handed drop spin. You push with your right. You're going to release about shoulder height. Um, a little lower if you're a guy, if you're a dude, like by your pec. Um, if you're a girl, you can go towards shoulder. And I'm not trying to be like that. Um, my coach used to say that all the time. It's just that if you're taller, you're going to have to release a little bit lower. And if you're short like me, you're going to have to release a little bit higher. That way it can be even all the way across. So let's go ahead and do it again. As always, make sure that you're catching really strong and starting really strong, not like that. Like so. Okay? So 
go ahead and practice that a couple times. Um, pause the video and then when you're ready, press play again and I'm going to show you how to do singles on the right hand. Okay, so singles on the right are a little tricky for a lot of people, as even me when I first started. Um, and that's because the weight distribution of the rifle is not perfectly equal. Um, and when you have the weight distribution on the right, you're going to have to force um, the rifle to spin around more. It requires a little more flick in your wrist. So you're here, like this is the starting position. You're going to pretend that you're doing a right-handed drop spin. And when you catch the rifle after your right-handed toss, it will be as if you were preparing to do a left-handed drop spin or to do a left-handed toss, which is really cool because as I'll show you in a little bit, you can go back and forth. So the same concept with the right-handed drop spin as we had with the, or the right-handed toss as we had with the left, you're going to push with your left hand this time, slapping your thigh in the process and allowing the rifle to rotate until it can't rotate anymore. Then you will let go. Sorry, that was not cute because I wasn't sure if I wanted to let it go or not. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. And you should end with your hand about shoulder height. My hand's a little tall. I'm not exactly sure why, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a whole rifle all together. Um, like I said, it's kind of windy right now. So hopefully this turns out okay. Like so. Now you want your right-handed toss to be just as whippy as your left-handed toss. It's going to feel really weird, um, but don't be afraid of the weirdness. Get used to it and understand that it's going to be different when you go from your left to your right. So hopefully you took the time to practice your right-handed tosses. And if you didn't catch by all my subtle hints, when you toss from left to right, you can also toss from right to left. So there's no transition needed to go back and forth. Um, and a lot of the exercises that people will do will just be tossing left to right, right to left, left to right down, right to left down, left to right up, right to left up. And there will actually um, probably be videos teaching you about those, but typically guards will have their own warm-up routines. That's just the one that my guard does. So um, I wanted to share a couple of tricks with you. I guess not tricks, a couple of tips with you about <clears throat> tossing before we get into the bigger tosses because it is so important, I can't stress it enough, it is so important that your singles are absolutely flawless before you go into the bigger tosses. It, bigger tosses seem so fun, um, but they are, I mean they are fun, but if you do them wrong, if you do the singles wrong, then your big beautiful tosses could potentially hurt you, um, or they just won't come out as cool as you want them to. So I already told you about lofty and um, whippy, which basically, if you forgot, whippy means that it's spinning really fast and really short, and lofty means that it's spinning really tall and really flowy. Um, we don't want it to be overly whippy because that's dangerous, um, but lofty is not it either. So on a scale of like zero being lofty and 10 being whippy, we should aim for about a seven or an eight, okay? All right. The next thing that you need to be aware of is called pitch. Pitch basically means, um, for example, the metaphor with it is you're standing in a box all around you. And if you spin at a pitch, that means that you're not perfectly in line with the imaginary wall in front of you. You're at an angle or an angle this way. Um, or an angle this way or that way. So it's important that you aren't pitchy. A good way to practice this is by practicing in front of a wall. Um, that's what I have to do because I am very pitchy. Um, it's also a lot of trial and error. So make sure that when you're practicing, you record yourself from all different angles. Um, make sure that you have someone watching you who can tell you whether it's angled one way or the other. And then just start to experiment with things. If you're tossing like this, 
try leaning forward a little bit to counteract. If you're tossing forward, try to lean back a little bit to counteract. Or the way that your hand releases, try to push it forward a little bit or back a little bit to see how that helps. So those are just a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that your singles are absolutely gorgeous before you get into those bigger tosses. So the next level of tossing, it would be a double, which means that it's going to spin two whole rotations in the air. It's the same concept as the singles, except that you're going to release a little bit higher, right above your shoulder. This toss doesn't require a prep, same as the single. Prep basically just means that you bring up, you lift up the butt to make an angle before you push down. It gives you extra power. Um, the double doesn't really require that much, um, but depending on who your guard instructor is and or if there's extra crap, extra counts, um, they might have you do a prep. So I will show you a double. So my issue, that problem with that double is that I do not catch with both my hands at the same time. And that's something that you should be aware with, be aware about during all of your practices is how was, how did that toss go and what can I do to make it better? That toss was a little low. I'm gonna try to counteract that a little bit. And that one wasn't bad. I did have to move to my right a little bit, um, but that's okay. We'll just say that one was good. Um, so typically with doubles, triples, even quads, those are usually done on the left hand. Um, that's because the right hand usually provides more power um, and it's easier for the rifle's weight distribution um, to spin higher when you toss from your left hand than with your right hand. So go ahead and practice that. Um, if you're having difficulties, go ahead and pitch, or not pitch, go ahead and prep a little bit. And you can see that it makes it a lot easier to toss. Um, remember to not do what I'm doing, which is tossing over here, because that forces the rifle to go this way. You wanna bring your hand straight up and right by your shoulder. That way it'll travel upwards. Once you have that done, um, then we'll move on to triples. So go ahead and pause the video if you're not ready. Okay, so triples, again, the same concept. You're going to be this time tossing about your eye. You can definitely prep for a triple, and if that isn't enough power for you, then you can go ahead and do a couple drop spins. Prep, go. That just allows the rifle to move, it gets your head focused, and somehow it adds more power to the rifle as it travels through the air. So remember, it's gonna be rotating three times. Remember that you should be bringing your left hand right to your eyes, not to the right or the left, because that makes the rifle move in different directions. Make sure that your hand is straight up and down, because if your hand is leaning backwards, your rifle will be pitched backwards which is my problem. If your hand leans forward, your rifle will be pitched forward. And if your hand is like this, your rifle probably won't travel very far. Um, and also remember that your right hand slaps your thigh because especially for beginners, it's super hard to get enough momentum to toss a triple or a quad. So and when you're short like me, it's super difficult to give it enough height. So make sure that you're really pushing super hard with your right hand that way you can get a nice beautiful whippy toss but also sorry one last thing it is okay to be a little lofty at the beginning tosses can be super scary and really difficult when you start so practice a little lofty maybe prep a little more than you need to um, and then slowly get better and push yourself um, to be better at tossing these big tosses so it's a little windy sorry i'm going to attempt a triple and then if I mess up, we can discuss what I did wrong. Prep, toss. So that was a triple. Um, I was a little scared because of the wind and I pushed my hand forward and to the side, which caused my rifle to travel to the side of the camera. So let's try again and see if I can correct it. I made it more centered, but I did not push my hand high enough, nor did I push hard enough with my right hand. So I will try to counteract that one more time. That was
wasn't too bad of a toss. Um, it was a little pitched, which is kind of my problem. I've been working on it, and it's super hard to get rid of a pitch once it develops. Um, it's just something you got to keep working at. Um, anyway, so that concept of tossing, thinking about what you did wrong and trying to fix it, um, that is the best way to practice your tosses so that you can develop um, a pattern and develop that technique. Especially when you get into the bigger tosses, it's super important that you're consistent with how you catch and with how you toss. Um, so just keep those things in mind. I hope that this tutorial helps and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thanks for watching.